Here we have an angle. What is the name of the angle? One way to name it is angle ABC. The letter B is in the middle of the name because the angle is at B. We can also name it angle B because there is only one angle at B. But what happens if we add the line BD to the diagram? We now have two angles at B, angle ABD and angle DBC. In this case, we cannot just use B for the name. There is, however, another option if we number the angles. Angle ABD we can now name angle B1. And angle DBC we can name angle B2. Please pause to study this notation. Whenever we have angles next to each other, we call them adjacent angles. Here is another example of adjacent angles. And here is another example. Adjacent angles always share a common vertex. Here the vertex is at B. And they also share one side or arm of the angles. Please pause to study this. Here we have two lines, AB and CD, which intersect at 90 degrees. We know that it is 90 degrees because this is the symbol we use for a right angle. Whenever lines intersect at 90 degrees, we call them perpendicular lines. In maths, we can write this in shorthand as follows. This means that AB is perpendicular to CD. Please pause if you need to. Here we again have a right angle. If I now add a line to the sketch and I tell you that angle Q1 is 30 degrees, what will the size of angle Q2 be? It will be 90 degrees minus 30 degrees. Why? Because we are told that the whole angle at Q is 90 degrees. Angle Q2 is therefore equal to 60 degrees. This means that if we add these two angles, the answer will be 90 degrees. Whenever angles add up to 90 degrees, we say that they are complementary angles. So remember, complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Please pause if you need to. Here we are asked to find the complement of 42 degrees. In other words, we need to find a second angle, so that 42 degrees and the second angle are complementary angles. To find this complement, we simply subtract 42 degrees from 90 degrees. The complement of 42 degrees is therefore 48 degrees. Please pause and find the complement of 28 degrees. To find it, we again subtract the given angle from 90 degrees. The complement is therefore 62 degrees. Were you correct? What do you think the complement of x will be? It is simply 90 degrees minus x. Is this what you said? What do you think the complement of 90 degrees minus a will be? As before, we subtract the given angle from 90 degrees. I use brackets in this step to show that we are subtracting the whole given angle. Next, we need to multiply the minus into the bracket. This is equal to 90 degrees minus 90 degrees plus A. The complement is therefore A. Please pause to check my working. Here is the next question. Please pause to read it. We are given that this whole angle is 90 degrees. We can therefore say that the sum of these angles is 90 degrees. And the reason is, they are complementary angles. We then add 12 degrees and 28 degrees to get x plus 40 degrees on the left. x is therefore equal to 50 degrees. Please pause to check my working. Here is a similar question. Please pause and try it on your own first. We can again state the two given angles add up to 90 degrees. And the reason is, they are complementary angles. 
Next, we add like terms on the left. We then isolate the term with x by subtracting 15 degrees from both sides. And to isolate x, we divide both sides by 3. Please pause to check my working. Do you remember what the size of a straight angle or straight line is? It is 180 degrees. This is a very important fact to remember in mathematics. If I now add the line QS to the sketch, we get two adjacent angles, angle Q1 and angle Q2. If angle Q1 equals 125 degrees, what will the size of angle Q2 be? To find this angle, we subtract 125 degrees from 180 degrees. Angle Q2 is therefore equal to 55 degrees. This means that if we add these two angles, we will get an answer of 180 degrees. Whenever angles add up to 180 degrees, we say that they are supplementary angles. So remember, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Please pause if you need to. Here we are asked to find the supplement of 42 degrees. In other words, we need to find a second angle, so that 42 degrees and the second angle are supplementary angles. To answer this, we need to subtract the given angle from 180 degrees. The supplement of 42 degrees is therefore 138 degrees. Next, we are asked to find the supplement of 128 degrees. Please pause to do it. We again subtract the given angle from 180 degrees. The supplement is therefore 52 degrees. How did you do? What do you think the supplement of x will be? As before, we subtract the given angle from 180 degrees. Were you correct? And what about the supplement of 90 degrees minus a? To find it, we again subtract the given angle from 180 degrees, and we need to use brackets to show that we are subtracting the whole given angle. Next, we need to multiply the minus into the bracket. This is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees plus a. The supplement is therefore 90 degrees plus a. Please pause to check my working. Here is the next question. Please pause to read it. Because PQR is a straight line, we can state that the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. And the reason is straight line. Or we can now also use the reason supplementary angles, both are correct. Minus 30 degrees plus 70 degrees equals 40 degrees, giving us x plus 40 degrees on the left. x is therefore equal to 140 degrees. Please pause to check my working. Here is a similar question. Please pause to try it on your own first. Because we have adjacent angles on a straight line, we can write the following. And the reason is supplementary angles. Next, we add like terms on the left, giving us 6x equals 180 degrees. We then divide both sides by 6 to get the answer. Please pause to check my working. Here is the next question. Please pause to read it. This right angle symbol tells us that we have a 90 degree angle in the middle. And because we again have adjacent angles on a straight line, we can write the following. And the reason is supplementary angles. We then add like terms on the left, giving us 3x plus 81 degrees equals 180 degrees. To isolate the term with x, we subtract 81 degrees from both sides. And to isolate x, we divide both sides by 3. Please pause to check my working. Let's end with this question. Please pause to read it. We are asked to find x which is this angle in the triangle. But where do we start? We need to start with a straight line. Can you see how? 
We can state that the three adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees. Why? Because they are supplementary angles. 58 degrees plus 71 degrees equals 129 degrees. So on the left, we have angle C2 plus 129 degrees. Angle C2 is therefore equal to 51 degrees. We are now ready to work inside the triangle. Can you see how? It is an isosceles triangle, so this angle is also 51 degrees. We can therefore state that x plus 51 degrees plus 51 degrees equals 180 degrees. Why? Because the angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. 51 degrees plus 51 degrees equals 102 degrees. So on the left we have x plus 102 degrees. We then isolate x by subtracting 102 degrees from both sides. This completes the lesson. Good luck with the test.